Hey, what's up guys? It's Deji. I just had a fight with Floyd Mayweather. It was a it was a weird one. For those who didn't watch the uh, the fight, so there was a lot of discrepancies. A lot of discrepancies. And I know this is Floyd's tactic, the money team, this is what they their tactic. Uh, let me let me get into the nitty-gritty. So in my contract, we were meant to fight 14 ounce gloves, alright? 14 ounce gloves. It's been in my contract from the beginning and to the end. Well, kind of the end. But then, last minute, they're like, Floyd wants to fight in 10 ounce gloves. And I'm like, wait, what? That was never part of the contract. What is going on? I don't understand why it's gone from 14 to 10, when it was 14 from the get-go. Anyway, this, this whole thing goes on for a long ass time. It was long, man. It was really, really long. Eventually, I conceded. Uh, I said that I, I'll fight in 10 ounce gloves, but I told the Global Titans that you need to give me danger money. Because right now, I'm going up against uh, 50 and 0, 5 weight class champion, whatever, Floyd Mayweather, in 10 ounce gloves. What, what was meant to be a 14, 14 ounce gloves exhibition turned into a 10 ounce gloves exhibition. It was essentially a pro fight. Mad. But. You need to understand, I had a massive adrenaline dump. I was warming up and everything. Warming up with my 14 ounce gloves, whatever, this, that, blah, blah, blah. And then I get the news, oh, 10 ounce gloves. And then there's literally an hour and a half of nothing going on. Just, you know, my team being like, what the hell? Like, it's meant to be 10 ounce, it's meant to be 14 ounce gloves. Why is it now 10 ounce gloves? My brother was there even fighting for me. My mum was there too fighting for me. Daily, Leon, like literally Shane as well, fighting for me, being like, like what is this? And my, and Ryan as well. I had people from the money team, uh, Floyd's team, being like, bro, Deji, Floyd just wants to go in there and just have a little fun with you. He's not gonna hit you hard or anything. I promise, you have my word on that, bro. You have my word. So I'm thinking like, okay, cool. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna just do the 10 ounce gloves. It won't be a big deal. I've got this guy's word. He's clearly like Floyd's right hand man. I'm gonna trust him. And then he also told me that when you get into the clinch, just tell Floyd, like relax a little bit. And he'll, and he'll relax on the power. So I'm thinking, all right, you know what, cool. All right, this is all right. It's, it's, uh, we're gonna fight, but it's gonna, it's, he's gonna kind of go at my pace, you know? He'll go at my pace. Yeah, no, he didn't, okay? Not once. The first round, yeah, he was going slow, but he was hitting me hard. He was hitting me hard. Now, you're probably gonna be like, oh, that's only 40%, it's only 30%. No, trust me, he was hitting me hard. I know he was hitting me hard, because from the first round to the last round, the power was the exact same. I remember I clinched him, and I'm like, bruh, relax. And you know what he said to me? Shut up! I'm Floyd Mayweather, I do what I want. So I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm like, screw it, I'm here now. Let's bang, let's fight. And yeah, I mean, if you've seen the fight, then... I was told that I hit him 25 times. I'll take that. I mean, I gave the man a black eye. I'll take that. Realistically, that's a W. Apparently, this man has never been cut before or had any sort of bruise. So, if I, so I'm apparently the first guy to, to bruise a 50-0 champ. I mean, I will take that W, all right? I will take, spam Ws in the comments, please. Spam all the dubs in the comments. But yeah, I just wanted to give you my take on that. I gave Floyd Mayweather a black eye. Yeah, obviously uh, there was some stuff that got recorded behind the scenes of when I was in Dubai. I will, I will make, I will, that, that will be uploaded on my channel soon and everything. But yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was um, it was a it was a good experience. Honestly, there's a lot that I learned from it. And whoever I fight next, I literally just feel sorry for you because what I fought Floyd. I'm I'm not gonna be scared to fight anyone anymore. And this guy was not. He wasn't holding back. People keep saying, "Oh, Floyd was holding back." Trust me, he was not holding back. And I realized something. He it, he he has like some some ego. I did push-ups, you know, your wait time or whatever, you know, your rest time. That pissed him off, all right? When I did that to him, he was angry. He was like, cool, I'ma hurt you, bro. I'ma hurt you. I saw it in his eyes. But I knew what, I knew what the playing field was. I, I understood. It was a good experience, and I had a lot of fun. Do I look like I've been hurt? It hasn't even been 24 hours since the fight. Do I look like I've been hurt? I'm back in England. Do I even look like I've been hurt? But yeah, guys, uh... 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys very soon on my channel. Yeah, got a lot of stuff coming. Damn straight. Take care.